This section is going to take a look at the different methods of selective storing on the EOS, and there are several, and I'm going to go through each of them now with, with an example. So let's take a look at that. What I want to do is start with uh, an empty stage, and I'm just going to build a really simple look. Maybe I have some of my conventionals on, and like any tech situation, there's just a lot of experimentation going on, and maybe we're working with some of our moving lights, our Mac 700, so I'll turn them on, put them in a position, and maybe we've even been experimenting with some colors. Now at one point uh, we are ready to start storing some information, but if the look is not yet complete, but you do know that you want to store something that is complete, you can use some uh, selective string commands on the EOS, and that's one of the first ways you can selective store. So this is just a simple as specifying the channels that I want to record into a queue, and the console will pay attention to just those channels. So maybe I know the conventional lights that I have are exactly what I want, so I just want to go ahead and store channels 1 through 10 into a queue. So I first specify the channels that I want to record by typing 1 through 10, and record, Q1, enter. And now you can see that in our queue list we only have intensity, as, as shown the fact that there is timing or intensity and on our channel display, channels 1 through 10 have gone into a color to indicate that they are now part of the queue. My moving lights are still in their manual value, so that is a way of doing selective string. To further that, we can also use a selective string to record category information. So maybe again with our Macs, we haven't quite decided where they want to be, but we're, we're pretty happy with the color. Maybe we do like the color. So we want to go ahead and, and store the color into the queue. Now I can do this by again leaving these channels. I can say uh, select last to make sure I'm specifying those channels. Now I can hit my color category key in my soft keys. So my command is group 5 color record Q1 enter. And now we can see that we have color timing in the queue on our queue list and information for color in our channel list is now recorded into the queue but my intensity and my focus are still left as manual because I did not specify them in my selective string. Another way we can tell the console what we are interested or not interested in recording is by using the make null command. And what the make null command in live will do is indicate to the console that don't pay attention to this when I push record. So let's look at our max again and I'm now ready to record the position where they are, but maybe I don't know what I want to do with the intensity yet. So what I can do is I can again selectively choose that group using select last. I can hit my intensity category and then there's a make null soft key and I'll complete that command. And now you can see in the channel list that the intensity indicator has gone gray and there is a little n next to that indicate that those values are nullified. What this means is that when I press record the console is not going to pay attention to that. So let's look at that. Now when I press select last for my group 5, which are my max, record Q1. Now I have added focus information into that queue, but again the intensity was not recorded because it was a nullified value. To remove the nullified value I can simply repeat the command. This is my max 700's intensity, make null, Enter. The null is removed and now I have intensity as a manual value and if I record the queue again they will be included. There is a feature on the console related to make null and that is using filters. Now on the EOS it's important to remember that filters are actually pass through filters. So when I'm using a filter or when I apply a filter what I'm doing is I'm saying I'm interested in this information. So it is a pass through filter. This may be useful if Maybe I have all the information in a series of cues decided upon except for the color and I now want to go through a series of cues and I'm only just going to blow through them and record color. Next cue, record color, next cue, record color. Well, I could specify color on the command line every time, but that can get a little repetitive. So what I want to do is just put a color filter in so the console is only paying attention to color. Now to do that, I push and hold the filter key and choose the category key of color. Now I can filter by category or by individual attribute, but I'm going to go ahead and hit the entire color category 
and you can see again on our channel display that everything has been made null with the exception of color information. So now when I push record in a series of cues, I'm only getting color information. And that will occur until I remove that filter. Now to remove the filter, I can push and hold the filter key and toggle off the color. And there's also up in the upper left hand corner, there's a clear filter button that allows me to clear any filter that I've applied. Any and all filters can, will be cleared with the clear filter command. And finally, I want to talk about the remdim command when you are using record. Maybe I have a queue. I want to go ahead and create a, a new queue 2. What remdim will allow me to do is specify a set of channels to record to a new queue, and it will discard any other channel. So let's look at that example. So maybe I, in my next queue, I'm only interested in my max, and I want to go ahead and eliminate channels 1 through 10 from that queue. So what I can do is select my max. I can record Q2, remdim, enter. And now Q2 automatically said anything that I did not include in my specification just goes, the intensity will go to a zero value. And it is just the intensity that will go to a zero. So that's using remdim with record. Remdim has a separate feature that is used when recording a submaster. And what Remdim will do in a sub is actually replace the contents of a sub that you've previously recorded. I have a submaster, it's submaster number nine, and right now it has channels one through five at full. And now what I would like to do is change that submaster to be six through 10 instead of one through five. So what I would first do is bring up my channel six through 10 to full. And I do a select last, record, sub, nine, remdim. And after confirming, what I've done is replaced the contents. And because my submaster was all the way up when I did the record, the submaster automatically released and the new information is there. So instead of one through five, I now have six through 10. And those are the methods of selective storing on the EOS.